what's up family welcome back to another video this is the way of life now i know it's a little different because you're used to my husband speaking to you but this is my story um this video is going to be called god cover me and i'm going to tell you why a little bit more about why this video is called god cover me so i'm traveling on my way to work one day actually i'm on my way to work i get in the car the first thing you do when you get in your car crank the car up the seatbelt sound always goes off beep 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 for you to put your seatbelt on i ignored it my son asked me mommy what's that noise and i said it's the seatbelt and he says well mommy put your seatbelt on i ignored that too i'm driving down the road after i strapped my son in and um this white car swerves in front of me, literally missing me by this much before I hit them. So I slammed on my brakes and I said, wow, that's the third sign. God warned me three times to put that seatbelt on and I, I ignored it. Moral of the story is walking with God is not easy. You ignore all the signs that he gives you for what you're asking him for. For instance, I get in a car and I say, God cover me and everybody else traveling down this road. And I pray that everyone makes it to their destination. But I ignored the signs. So, more little story. Don't ask God for something and not do it. Not and ignore the signs. 